In this unit, we're going to be looking at topics related to earning an income. In this lesson, we're going to look at filling in the time card. Hi everybody. So in this lesson, we're going to take a look at time cards. Okay. Um, for some of you, when you when you work and you work a, like an hourly wage sort of a job here, you're going to have time cards. The the company that you're going to work with is going to keep track of, of how much you've you've worked so that they know how much to pay you. So like it says here, often jobs that pay hourly will track hours using a time card. I once worked at a job, um, and I remember very clearly having to take my little card, and I, as I walked into the building, I had to put it in my own little slot there, and at the end of the day, I would, I would pull it out there. So we calculate gross income by adding the total hours worked and subtracting any unpaid breaks, okay? So it'll help to get a, a sense of the values first, and we're going to come back at the end of the lesson here and, and, and review this, but... At 15 minutes, remember, is going to be 0.25 of an hour or a quarter of an hour, okay? So this is a quarter of an hour. 30 minutes is 0.5 of an hour or half of an hour. 45 minutes is three quarters of an hour, okay? So for example, if you worked, uh, if sorry, if one day you worked six hours and 30 minutes and took a 45-minute unpaid break, so what we would do here is we would take your six hours and add 0.5 for the, the half hour, but then we were going to subtract 0.75 for that unpaid break. Right minute that 45 minute break is going to be three quarters of an hour or 0.75. So 6.5 minus 0.75. We've got five hours and 75. Sorry, five. I was about to say five hours and 75 minutes. 5.75 hours or five hours and 45 minutes. So let's take a look at another kind of an example here so that you get a sense of how this works here. Um, time cards will typically show when the time work began and the time work ended. Okay. So here we go. So you, let's say you, you fill in your card here, you're starting at 10.30, and you ended at 4 o'clock, and you had a, a one-hour unpaid break there. Okay, Oops, sorry about that. So we start at 10.30, one hour to 11.30, two hours to get to 12.30, three to 1.30, four for 2.30, five for 3.30, and then that's going to be half of an hour there. So it's one, two, three, four, five hours, five and a half hours before we, we quit, but... Okay, but as we look down here, there was a one hour unpaid break. So we're going to take the five and a half hours and subtract the one. So we're actually only going to get paid for four and a half hours. Okay, and that's how that works. So now let's take a look at a couple of examples. Okay, so for this example here, it says calculate the total paid hours. Okay, so here we go. So on Monday, we timed in at 9 a.m. and we timed out at 3.30 but we had a half hour, 30 minute unpaid break. So let's just think about that. From nine to 3.30, and the way I typically would do this is I would go from, in my head here, I would think from nine to 12 and then 12 to, to 3.30 here. So nine to 12 is gonna be three hours. 12 to 3.30 would be three and a half hours. So it's gonna be six and a half hours Minus the 30 minutes there, minus the half hour, so it's going to be 6.5 hours minus the 0.5 hours for that break. That's going to be six hours that we get that we would get paid for. Okay, here 8:45 to 4:15. Okay, okay, 8:45 to to 12. Okay, that's really close. That's just 15 minutes short of being at, at 9 o'clock there. So like 9 to 12 would be 3 hours. So 3.25. And this is going to be plus 4.25. So it's going to be, that's, that's um, what is that? That's 7 and a half. No, wait a second. I think I calculated it wrong. I was going to do that wrong. That should have been um, 8.45. So it's going to be 3 and 3.25 to 12. And then 4.15, 12 to 4.15 is going to be uh, four and a half. So it's going to be seven and a half hours. So 7.5 hours minus one hour is going to be uh, six and a half hours. Okay. A uh, Wednesday didn't work. Then 9.30 to 4.30. Okay. Well, 9.30 to 12 is going to be two and a half hours. And then to 4.30, that's four and a half hours. So two and a half and four and a half is going to be seven hours. Okay, so 7 minus 0 0.75 is going to be 6 hours and 25 minutes. Sorry, that's 25 minutes. I can't believe I said that again. 6 hours and 15 minutes or 6.25 hours. Okay, wow. Sorry about that. 10 hours 
10 a.m. to 5.15 p.m. Well, 10 to 12 is going to be two hours. Add that to this, it'll be seven hours and 15 minutes. So it's going to be 7.25, seven and a quarter hours, minus 45 minutes, and we're going to get 6.5 hours. Now we're just going to add that all up. Okay, so 6 plus 6.5 plus 6.25 plus 6.5. just want to make sure that I entered that all in right. 6, 6.5 plus 6.25 plus 6.5. And we get 25 and a quarter hours total. Okay, and there we go. Now we're going to do this again. Okay, but this time what we're going to do is we're going to... Look at Sylvia's situation here. Uh, she works at a clothing store in West End. It makes $15.80 an hour. Put a little dollar sign there. And now we want to calculate her gross income. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at her time card here, and then we're going to we're going to finish it off. We're going to figure out her total time, and then we're going to figure out how much she's going to get paid. Now, in this case here, she's working mostly in the evenings here. So 4 p.m. to 9:15 uh, p.m. That is going to be five and a quarter hours minus a quarter hour is just going to be five hours. So on Monday, Sylvia works five hours. 4.15 to 9 o'clock. Okay, well, 4 to 9 o'clock uh, would be five hours. So we're going to subtract a quarter of an hour. Actually, and then we're going to subtract another quarter of an hour. So that's, that's basically going to be like 5 minus 0. 0.25 minus another 0. 0.25 to get you four and a half hours, 4.5 hours here. And again, the reason why I'm doing that, I'm kind of overshooting here. 4.15 to 9.15 would be five hours, but I'm not at 9.15, I'm, I'm 15 minutes short. I gotta take that off. Just for easy math here, I assume that it goes to 9.15 and then I take off that extra 15 minutes and then I take off this extra 15 minutes for the unpaid break, just to make the math a little bit, a little bit more straightforward. 5.30 to 8.00. 15. Well, think of it, this is going to be like 5.30 goes to, to 6.30, 7.30. Oh, almost, I don't quite make it to 8.30 here. I don't, I'm 15 minutes shy of that. So that's like two, two hours and 45 minutes, which is two and three quarters of an hour. Okay. And then there's no break there. So that's it. 2.75. Now on Saturday, it's important to see that you're starting at 10 a.m. And then we're going to 4.45. So 10 a.m. to 12 is going to be two hours. And then 4.45, well, that's going to be an additional four and three quarter hours. So that's altogether, that's six and three quarter hours. But then I'm going to subtract, whoops, three quarters of an hour to get six hours there total. So now, on this week here, we get five hours plus 4.5 plus 2.75 plus six and we get 18 hours and 25 minutes. Okay, so now just to finish this one up here, so it looks like we've got, oh, and see, and I was, uh, I got a phone call while I was doing this, and so it's not $18.25, dollars. that's 18.25 hours, okay? And now what we're gonna do is gonna convert that into a gross pay here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the hourly pay or the wage, hourly pay, and we're gonna multiply that by time, so it's, oops, can't see that. We know that she's getting $15.80 per hour. And that that's going to be for 18.25 hours. And when we multiply that out, whoops, here. Wow, ah, I'll slide it over here. 15.8 multiplied by 18.25. And we get 200. $288.35 will be Sylvia's gross pay. Now, before we leave this, I wanted to do, go over one more little thing here just to reiterate this. So time cards are always done in terms of hours. Okay, and breaks are unpaid here and we subtract that time here. So just again, to remember this, 15 minutes is going to be 0.25 of an hour. 30 minutes is 0.5 of an hour. 45 minutes is your 0.75 of an hour. And 60 minutes there is your one hour. And I know you know that, but again, just to reiterate, make sure that we've said that again so that uh, yeah, you remember that.